Decimals are easy to add because they're always in the same units. These are all hundreds. 5 plus 0, well done. 5. These are all tenths. 2 tenths plus 4 tenths, 6 tenths. And 0 units is still 0 units. That was easy. Fractions aren't always in the same units. These are in quarters, one quarter, and this is fifths. I can't just add one plus two and say I've got three, because that's three what? Quarters, fifths, something else? So your aim is to move this slider until you find a fraction, a division of those circles, that perfectly fits both the quarter and the fifth. That fits perfectly the fifth, but not the quarter. If I divide the, the circles up into 20 pieces, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twentieths, which makes exactly 1 quarter, as we can see. And I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 twentieths to make 2 fifths. The aim on this Move Me button is to move that around until you've got exactly 8 plus 5, 13 twentieths, which makes a quarter plus 2 fifths. Well, halfway is 10 twentieths, add another 3, and that's 13 twentieths. So that's your first task, is to move this once you've found the correct number of divisions to perfectly fit the two fractions. Second task is then to open the Excel sheet and enter your answers. So we thought the first fraction was actually the same as 5 twentieths. We're right, it says well done, not try again, and it's simplified 5 twentieths down to a quarter for us again, so we know we're right. The next one was 8 twentieths. It's simplified at 2 fifths, again we know we're right, and we said 8 plus 5 was 13, because they're all in the same unit, so we can just add them now. 13 twentieths, and we're right again. Brilliant. What's the point? Well, some decimals aren't really the best to add with. Do you think if they're so easy, why not do it all the time? Well, this is 2 sevenths. It's a never-ending, uh, recurring decimal. There's the bit that recurs. And this is a third, which is 0.3. Uh, never ending, never occurring. I had to use derive for this because even your calculators can't handle these sort of fractions. Can you imagine trying to add those up longhand? Sure, maybe you wouldn't bother, maybe you just do that first six, but then you've rounded it. And when you get the final answer, it looks like this. Pretty hideous. Now let's compare that with if we just do fractions. There's two sevenths, there's a third. If I can find the common fraction, the unit for both of thirds and sevenths is 21st. There's six 21sts there. There's 7 21sts here, so I just move that round to 6 plus 7, which is 13 21sts. A little over halfway is 11 21sts. There's 13 21sts. And then I go into the Excel formula sheet to see if we're right. We said that that was 6 21sts, and that this one was 7 21sts. If I add 6 and 7, I get 13 21sts, and we're right again, so you can check. So that's the activity. Find the divisions that perfectly fit both fractions. You found the common units for fourths and fifths. Move the Move Me button to represent it visually, the addition of those two, and then check in the Excel sheet if you're right. And remember, that's a lot simpler than a big, long, recurring decimal.